The word of the day today is scam. Or maybe is it fraud? Now, none of that seems right. Maybe I should just go with scumbag. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. We're gonna go with the word of the day today is scumbag. Every time I say the word scumbag, I make another video about a degenerate metalcore vocalist doing something illegal. Frontman of Thai metalcore band Anna Lynn faked a cancer diagnosis, and you know that caused a whole bunch of drama, and I'm very excited to dive into all of that today with you, but before we do, hey, hi, hello, my name is Dan Frampton, welcome to the channel. Hopefully I don't have to explain why faking cancer, starting a GoFundMe just to scam your entire community is a bad thing, because that is the premise of today's video. And it's all gonna start here on July 9th of this year, 2024, where Bond, the lead singer of Anna Lynn, announces that he has stomach cancer. Look at this photo that he posted to get the sympathy. This is some crazy stuff. Please read GoFundMe. This is the heaviest post I've ever done and I was shocked when I read the news. Some days ago, Bond, vocalist of Thai metal band Anna Lin, announced his diagnosis of stomach cancer. Due to the health system in Thailand, there is no insurance to pay for the upcoming things that are necessary to help him. Together with Grayscale Records, the official band account, and many more, I ask you to help Bond out. And here they have a bunch of charity shirts that they made for the event. Keep hope alive. Isn't this egregious knowing that this is coming from a fake cancer diagnosis? But we're not even all the way there yet. I had to hop into the Wayback Machine to find that GoFundMe, because you know it's hidden, but there was only one screenshot of it. So I don't know exactly how much money was raised, but he was asking for $10,000. Grayscale Records is asking for help from the heavy music community to help raise funds for the singer of Thailand's metalcore band, Anna Lin. Being from a developing country such as Thailand, this type of expense doesn't come easy. They are going in on all of this stuff. But I don't think, to be fair, that the record label, the bandmates, or the family, or anybody else knew that he was faking this stuff. I believe he scammed everybody in the Anna Lin community. And today, we got a bunch of statements. These ads are driving me crazy. If I click read more, will it disappear? No. I want to read this, bro. Why are you doing this to me? I would like to read this. Why is there an ad here? And you know on this channel there has been so many statements read this year, a lot of drama going down, and this is just adding to the pile because it has come out and now everybody is well aware that this guy who goes by the name Bon faked his cancer diagnosis and all of this now is essentially, officially actually, a fraud and a scam. The degenerate in question, he has a statement and it reads, I would like to offer my sincerest apologies to everyone for everything that has transpired, especially for both the deception around my health issues and the false claims that were made. I deeply regret my actions and fully accept responsibility for the mistakes I have made. I am truly sorry for the harm and distress this has caused. The problems I have faced stemmed from personal financial struggles, including debts from illegal loans and poor business decisions that I have failed to manage over the years. The situation escalated to a point where I couldn't see a way out and I was placed under immense pressure both financially and personally which led to the mistakes I made. Unfortunately, I have betrayed the trust and kindness that so many of you have shown me. The poor decisions have impacted not only my life, but the lives of others around me, and I deeply regret that. I want to clarify that no one else, be it the music label, friends, my family, or my bandmates were involved in these issues. I am now facing the consequences of my actions and I have learned invaluable lessons from this experience. 
I am committed to doing everything in my power to make things right and resolve the situation as quickly as possible. I understand that my words cannot undo the damage that has been done, but I want to humbly ask you for forgiveness. I am truly sorry for the pain and inconvenience my actions have caused. I am deeply remorseful for the trust I have broken. Yeah, right, buddy. I don't know if I believe that at all. In this statement, you admitted that you've been a piece of crap for almost your entire life. You admit to poor business decisions on top of illegal loans, all of which you failed to manage and it escalated to this point where you felt like you had to scam everybody around you. If you're doing everything in your power to make it right over there, Bond, I think that you're giving all of that money back. The band has also responded in kind. Because now with with all this drama, all this out there in the open, what's gonna happen? You can't have this guy in the band. Are you guys still gonna be a band? What is going on in the land of Anna Lynn? They say, regarding the ongoing situation that has been widely discussed, the four of us would like to address the following issues. I'm gonna pull this up on my phone. I can't read that there. Oh, I can't read it here either. This is brutal. It turns out the writing is way too small for me to read. There's no way that my old man eyes can read this. This literally just looks like a bunch of white lines across a black background. Literally illegible to a guy like me. But good thing Lamgoat have a couple highlights over here. Effective immediately, we will suspend all activities, including performances, merchandise sales, and any use of the band's name in any capacity. It looks like the band has disbanded for good. The four of us are deeply saddened and disappointed by Bond's actions. We sincerely thank everyone who has supported Anna Lynn throughout the years. And if you can read the full statement with your eyeballs, I do suggest that you go over there and read this. But I literally cannot see that. But I think that's the gist and that's all I need to know. The band is moving on from this guy, they feel hurt, betrayed by it, and they're no longer a band. It does suck to see it end this way because not only are the members of the band so invested in the band, they have management, they have labels, they have fans, they have family, and now the rug has just been completely pulled out from all of them because of one guy's selfish actions and not being able to handle his own life. But I can almost guarantee yesterday you didn't know about these guys, and today all you know about them is that this guy over here is a complete scumbag. Faking cancer is one of the most malicious, stupid, evil, insensitive, degenerate things that you can do. There are people's lives ripped apart by this disease and then for you to just use it to fuel your greed, to fuel your own mistakes is absolutely deplorable. There is no coming back from this unless you spend the next 10 years on the Lol Cow podcast with Keemstar and Boogie2988. So that's the big news, juice, and gossip for the day. If you have anything you want to say, let me know down there in the comments. And just to let you know, I reply to every comment left within the first three hours. I care deeply about three hour gang. I hold a strong bias. So if it's your first time here within the first three hours, let me know. If you missed the first three hours, come back next time to be in three hour gang. But until next time, watch another one of my videos, why don't you? All of these behaviors just tell YouTube that this channel is good and worth watching and then it'll push it out to more people. And we love that, don't we? Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now and have a good one.